Hello and welcome back to RimWorld Let's Play. This would be episode 28. Wow. Um, 28 episodes. That's, uh, that's, well, not counting, uh, last Sunday. That's an entire month of nonstop, or four weeks of nonstop uploading. Anyway, um, so last episode we bought some cows. And... I'm not quite sure how milking cows works. I guess that should be an automatic thing. Um, by, I assume, animal handlers, such as Kaniki and Larissa, should just kind of take care of that on their own. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out. Anyway, uh, this episode... Well, let's, uh, we're gonna be dealing with the psychic drone. So, that's gonna be a problem. Also, we are low on food, of course, as always. So, we're gonna be dealing with that as well. So, let's, uh, start the game and see what happens. Ooh, area revealed. Cool. Wait. We found a plasteel vein. Yes. All right. Um. New reason to be very happy. We might be able to work on our spaceship a lot more. Uh, we just found plasteel. Yeah, buddy. Anyway. Um. Wait. What's this? Oh, okay. And of course. Yep. Psychic drone. I'm also gonna lay down some slate tile right here as a little uh, fire protection for that cable I'm I'm really happy that we just found plasteel oh look squirrels sad of course squirrels sad you're depressed and there's a psychic drone which is making you even more sad and I I get this odd feeling that Squirrel's gonna have a breakdown. Um. Yeah. We're gonna worry about that when it happens, though. O'Neill's working on that sculpture. Yumiko's working on a bunch of sculptures. Oh! Ruby. You know, we were we were gonna give Ruby a new arm, I believe. Uh yep. So let's uh let's do that at some point. That'll speed up her artistic crafting abilities and therefore our overall ability to make money fast. Look, milk fullness is at 100%. So let's see here. What if I take Kaniki and say... Hmm. Yep, you can milk a cow. Whoop. Let's see what that gives us. Go, Larissa, go. Milk the cow. Joomp. Hey, we got a little bucket of milk. All right. Um and a chicken egg. And have you carry the milk back to our fridge. Milk has a tendency to go bad sometimes. Did that like completely drain the cow or yeah, it looks like it did. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, you'll notice we're no longer low on food because people have started carrying potatoes back. And is that... Ew. More rabbits just breeding like little rabbits. I'm not 
lay down some more planning for our uh, little range finder. There we go. That'll finish it up. I realize we probably don't have enough cloth for all that quite yet, but I'm hoping that once this harvest comes in, we'll be a little bit closer. So this chicken egg is damaged. Oh, it's it's damaged because it's outside. Okay. I was going to say, like, did someone shake it? Is that chicken going to come out weird and really, really funky or something? But I guess it was just going bad because it was outside. Meantime, let's see what's going on with our little... The Plasteel vein is big! Yes! Let's get some more Plasteel. We might actually be able to, like, finish this reactor during this episode. I mean, what are we at? 375 Plasteel right now, plus we just mined 30, uh, 70. So that puts us at 445... Yeah, mine two more pieces of plasteel, we can start working on that reactor. And I am going to make... I believe I wanted Nurhesi to build it. Actually, I might force Yumiko to build it. Or Squirrel, or O'Neill. Nah, Yumiko, O'Neill, and Squirrel all, are all busy doing their arts and crafts. And hey, really, O'Neill? Did you really just... What? Oh, for... Wait, what? Oh, you're praying, okay. Um... A little confused. But... Okay. I know that they can, like, take sculptures off and then, like, move them out and keep working on them elsewhere, but I'm kind of confused as to why they felt the need to do that. There's enough sculptors tables for everyone. Alright, well, no judgment. Cargo pods. Bring in granite. Just because we don't quite have enough yet, apparently. And some more plasteel to mine. I am really happy we found a plasteel vein finally. This is going to definitely speed up shipbuilding quite a bit. Hey, look at that. Carpet's going down. Things are looking up this episode. Things are really starting to look up. Why are these two batteries dead? They are not even connected to power. What? Let's fix that. Oh. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. There we go. Connect those two batteries. That'll keep them nice and... I don't know. Connected? Hey, wild boar is pregnant cool um where are my let's see here once CJ mines out another wall I'm gonna force someone to start building a reactor because then we should have an, just enough plasteel to finish the reactor 208, 216, yay okay orders Keep mining, because there is more plasteel. That's a huge vein. I'm really happy with that. Uh, I'm going to actually make Squirrel build it. I'm also going to take... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. Ruby, Yumiko, Steven, and Kaniki. Steven. Go to bed. Yumiko, you're good there. Kaniki, 
don't even know where you are. Why don't you go to bed there? Um, Squirrel, did you get sick too? No, he did not. You keep working on that reactor. Nope, keep working on it. O'Neill, start doctoring Steven. How are we doing here? 65% immunity, that's not bad. 65. Yumiko, 65. Ruby, 63. Eh, that's workable. Ooh, simple prosthetic arm. Efficiency, 50%. Overall manipulation is now up to 65%, before it was 30, as some of you might remember. So that's an improvement. Now, Neo, please treat Kaniki. Thank you. How are you doing? Your malaria is minor, but it has been treated. Squirrel, keep working on that ship reactor, please. Thank you. Sleep can come later. <clears throat> nope. Wonder how. Yeah, you're very tired. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go to sleep in a little bit. Maybe. I might not let him sleep for a little while longer. Although, yeah, I guess he's really tired. I'm getting her hessy to work on it. Hungry, ugly environment, disturbed sleep, sick, hey. Where's CJ when you need him? CJ! CJ! Quit mining, start cleaning. Specifically, clean all of the hospital dirt. It's a little ridiculous. Yep, Steven's sad. I'm guessing it's got something to do with um, him being sick and in a filthy room. There we go, Nerhesi. How is your construction skill doing? Look at that. It's just going to shoot up. Wow. Oh, come on. Ressi. Well, at least you leveled up once. Hey, Squirrel, you're awake. Perfect. Oh, you're really good at learning construction. Cool. Yeah, you'll love this. You get to do a lot of practice. Look at that. You're already level 5. Or level 6. Hey! No, no, we don't. No. There you go. Come on, level seven. Where are you going? Oh, you're eating. All right, fine. Eat, and then I'm going to make you keep building. No, no, no. There we go. Yeah, squirrel. I wonder if I can, like, prioritize this thing somehow. Um, I don't know. Guess not. Visitors, combat supplier. Hello, combat. Whoa. Oh, okay. Wait. Um... Ruby, sadly you're a talker, so I'm going to have you give that combat supplier a call. And that combat supplier has nothing that we really need, plus we don't really have the money to afford anything, so you can go back to sleeping. Or meditating, whatever. Squirrel, where'd you go? Squirrel the pie. 
I mean, yeah, wow. Okay, squirrel, you can you can go do some muffalo based stuff. Cuz that's those muffalo wools are about to decompose into nothing. No, it'd be kind of helpful if um, things got planted and or carried inside. Sadly, half of our colonists are currently... Well, let's just say they're a little under the weather. Ah, uh, who's in a poor mood? Steven's in a poor mood. Of course Steven's in a poor mood. Why? Crowded, cramped... Huh. I guess we're gonna have to figure out this crowding problem somehow. Um, how you feeling now? A little less crowded. There we go. Yeah, go use the telescope. I realize that kind of sucks for Yumiko. Because Yumiko is now not getting the treatment that she needs. But I care less about Yumiko than about Steven. Yumiko is not too smart. And too smart is good. You know what? Why don't you get some building practice? Yeah, get you up to level 5 or something, I don't know. Who is sad? Steven, why are you sad this time? Totally joy deprived. Okay, how about this? Once you get treatment, I'm gonna let you go for a little bit and watch TV or something. Okay? Go. Go do your thing. What are you gonna do? Th what are you gonna do, Steven? What are you gonna go do? There you go. Use that telescope. Make yourself happy. God. Keep building the reactor. Nope. All right. Now Yumiko needs treatment, so Yumiko, go rest. How are you doing? Pretty happy. Pretty happy. You go build for a little while. No, squirrel, you're going to build the reactor a little bit longer. And we are almost done with our first chip component. Come on, squirrel, finish it up. No, squirrel, finish strong. And construction level 8. Good job. Look at that. Our very first chip component, a ship reactor. Ooh, launch report. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess we do need a lot of stuff. Anyway, now let's keep planning our ship. Um since we actually have some plasteel. Let's have it launch in this direction. And let's see here. We want enough cryo sleep caskets for everyone. Let's do two engines. Because of course that you need two engines. Um, 
hopefully we'll have enough blast steel let's do something like this and like this for structural beams and then we could do like a cryo sleep casket here here and here and then do one here here and here and then one on the edge that'll fit seven people and then do something similar on this side wow we could go up to like 14 people easy yeah nine colonists it's gonna be a little wonky looking ship but you know what this is like we're we're in flight of the phoenix territory here it doesn't matter what it looks like we just want it to fly how are you guys doing jealous disturbed feeling bad disturbed hey you're you're getting better you're getting better Plus, look at that. Your immunity's at 91%. You're almost there. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. You're crowded again. You need treatment. How long till 16 hours till treatment? 15 hours till treatment. Go run around, Steven. Specifically go haul some stuff. Please. Thank you. Uh, why are you crowded again? Treated. Uh, Kaniki, I'm gonna have you also just prioritize hauling stuff. Um, or maybe building stuff as well. Are you treated yet? Good about to get pissed at O'Neill. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The boomalopes are gonna go nuts. Um, problem with that is boomalopes tend to, you know, go boom. So, we're gonna be careful with this. Um, Yeah, you're good on range, Steven. We are just waiting for... We didn't leave anyone outside, did we? Okay. Yeah. Um... Hopefully they'll run into the death funnel and blow themselves up on my turrets. Speed things up to make them, you know... Go a little faster. Or maybe not. Let's try a Larissa. Nice. One down. Run back. Because I think they found their way. Yep. And two down. Alright, um, yeah, I'm probably going to end the episode here, a little bit of a fiery cliffhanger, and hopefully those grenades don't go up. We're going to see how this ends up playing out tomorrow, so like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye!